Hello everyone to Information and Communication Technology paper where we will be doing paper 2 for document production for Feb and March 2020. So let's go to the first question that must be the first task to do. Uh, we will be needing this following source files. This all files supposed to be located inside this zip folder or file. So right click on it and extract the file. After we got the file extracted over here, so go to it and you will find your files over here. Compared to it, it must be exactly the same file. So let me see here we have, it's supposed to be nine items. And let's check over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine files over here. You're going to carry out some tasks for a gas appliance servicing company. So task number one, evidence document. It starts by stating, open the file which is M2001-20 evidence, which is uh, RDF file. Make sure your name, center number, candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document. Save this, uh, okay. First of all, let's go and look for this RDF file. It's supposed to be RD evidence, this one. Okay, and let it open. Okay, it got open. We have all the file, evidence files listed, uh, evidence names listed, and then what we need to do, we need to put our information that's supposed to appear on every page of your evidence document. So it doesn't matter header or footer. So double click anywhere in the header or footer as long as it is not mentioned and click on the header and choose the blank three columns. So put your information, you can put the name in this way and center number over here and your candidate number after you got it over here. Close it and go to the next part of the question. Save this document in your work area with a file name with this name and it's supposed to be followed with your candidate number. So for example like this, if this is your candidate number, just write it after this name. So let's go over here, click on file, save as, make sure that I'm not using save but I'm using save as and click on browse. Again, make sure you're in your uh, working area, okay? That's the first point. Secondly, right now you're going to save it, put the name and put your candidate number. Third point, make sure you're choosing the Word document extension and save it in this uh, extension. It is much better than using RDF and most of the time it is required. Okay, so click on OK. Okay, you got it over here, it changed. And you will notice also it is added over here with the name mentioned in your question paper. So we're done. After that, you will need your evidence document during this examination to place what? To place those screenshots that will be required. Okay, right now let's start with our actual document production task. You are going to edit a document where paragraph styles have been applied. Some of these styles will need to be edited. The page layout is A4 portrait orientation with 2.54 centimeter margins. Okay, so we have those three criteria already set. We're not supposed to change these settings. But let's go and have a look at it. What is the file name actually? Here's the file name. They still didn't mention it. So question number one. Using a suitable software package, open this file name. First of all, let's go and open it. Servicing.rtf. All right, let me check how many pages. Okay, we have four pages. And then let's go and check the criteria they told us. So go to layout tab, click over this small arrow. You will notice here it is let me go back to the question. A4, portrait, 2.54. So portrait, and it is 2.54 margin from all the four sides, and paper. And you can see here the paper size is A4. So click on OK. No need to change it, even cancel is fine. So after that, save the document in your work area with the, na with the name safety, and make sure it is saved Okay, over here it is mentioned, it's supposed to be saved in the software you are using. What is the software? I'm using Microsoft Office document. So the software is supposed to be dot, uh, 
docs uh, docx so save as browse put the name first of all make sure it is in your working area and finally make sure it is this extension so we're done save it click on ok the name over here changed go and check over here it is added okay we're going great and let's carry on uh, evidence number one place your evidence document uh, place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved which is this file and make sure there is an evidence of file type so what they want to see they want to see that we saved it in a document extension and we can show also this Microsoft Word document instead of RDF document so if it is not showing just make sure it is showing over here right click and you can add the type or just go to more and choose it and right now let's take the screenshot and place it in in evidence number evidence number one okay just make sure it is going to be printed properly when you're going to try to print out all of the evidence uh, evidence papers okay next question two placing the header okay your name center number candidate number and supposed to be to the left side and we need to place automated field to display the today's date and it's supposed to be to the right alignment so in the header we need to put these two things later we will check in the folder first of all let's go to the header double click in the header and from the header section add those blank three columns so we will need the right and we will need uh, we will need the right and we will need the left middle one we don't need it so delete it let's start with any side let's start for example from the right what we need to put in the right we need to put today's date so just double click on it after that you can see over here date and time so just click on today's date actually there is no specific format mentioned for today's date so you just can select by default the first one and click on ok the second one which is on the left side we need to add our information so just double click and type the information you can put comma in between and that's it and close it you will notice it will be displayed on all the pages that's the most important part second part of the question place in the footer so I need to go to the footer area what I need to put the page number which is on the left side and the file name with a full uh, path on the right alignment so double click on the footer and then in the footer section click on the blank three columns again I don't need the center so I'm going to start let's start with the first left and add the page number so double click on the left side over here you won't find any uh, page number so you have to go to quick parts click on field and on your keyboard uh, press over P and it will take you directly to the page there is no specific format mentioned so you just can leave it by default and click on OK as you can notice here the pages will be increasing automatically without you write it if you increase even added one more page or how many pages it will be uh, adding or increasing automatically OK OK still need the right side so let's go to the right side and click on it and we need to add what the file name and the full path so over here again you won't find anything for the file name and footpath oh sorry actually the page name is showing over here but it won't work let me try it okay it's working never mind it's working you can add it also from here on which side you want to add it but this one is the most accurate one okay so right now what I need to add I need to add the file name with the full path again to go for this so go to quick parts click on field and on your keyboard press on F 
over here this will add only the file name but you need also the path so click over take over this one activated and click on ok and here we go you will get the file name not only the file name where the file is located with the full path this is my full path over here okay just make sure it is more to the right alignment by going to the home and clicking right so it got adjusted and right now you can click anywhere and it will close the header and footer make sure it is added in all the parts okay third part of the question make sure that all items align to the page margins as you can see the page margin ends over here just make sure that it is not extending out of this page margin and no other text or placeholder appearing in the header or and footer as you know we had the middle part we deleted them so you still didn't if you still didn't delete those middle parts delete them after that header and footers are displayed on all the pages which is for sure already displayed on all our pages okay we're done with question number two let's go to the next question the house style specifications for paragraphs are so we have around one two three four five six seven seven house styles okay uh, these styles have been correctly applied to the document so it is already been applied to the document correctly but three do not match the house style specifications in step three okay you will correct these and provide evidence so we need to identify and correct these three styles and in the evidence too we need to put showing the definition of each of those styles that have been corrected so we will be needing to take three screenshots by finding by comparing all of the specifications to these specifications so let's put this next to each other like this and then after that try to zoom it in a way you can see it and over here in styles you will see a small arrow click on that small arrow and you will find all of your styles over here added so let's start one by one I'm going to zoom it a little bit more all right that's better okay let's start with the first one GS title so go and look for GS title which is over here right click and click on modify and let's compare so the first one the name is matching the font style also supposed to be sans serif means not decorated so the Arial is not decorated 20 is the font size it's supposed to be center alignment it is already center aligned and all of them supposed to be capital you already can see here it is all capital and over here in the definition you can see it is all caps if you're still not sure go to format and click on font and you will notice this is tick means it is all caps this is supposed to be single and zero zero spacing you can find this over here as before and after spacing are zero okay but to make sure much better to go to format paragraph over here you can see the spacing zero zero and the line spacing is single so there is nothing to change here it is applied correctly let's go and check the next one subtitle so over here is a subtitle so it is sans serif again Arial is sans serif 18 and it is right alignment it's supposed to be italic which is not applied okay here we go so what did we do we applied italic so let me highlight this one as it is the one I applied it to where to the subtitle okay the other points single and zero zero so let's go to format paragraph it is single zero zero so it's matching only point we just change is the italic so click on ok and change it subhead let's go to the subhead so we have the subhead over here the name uh, supposed to be uh, serif times new roman is also serif format because it is decorated one then we have 16 correct 
and it's supposed to be center alignment, correct? Supposed to be bold and underlined. So correct, bold. And it's supposed to be 0 and 16. So let's go and check. Single and 0 and 16. So it is matching. So that's a correct one. Let's go to the section head. And then let's compare serif, which is Times New Roman is serif. Here we go. This is supposed to be, am I in the right? No, sorry. I opened the wrong one. It is this one. So modify. Okay, the phone is correct. This is serif. Supposed to be 14. Supposed to be left aligned. And all caps and underlined. As you can see here, it is all caps. And it is already underlined. Again, if you want to make sure it is all caps, go and make sure from here or from the definition over here. Okay, so so far it is matching, then single and zero and eight. So let's go to paragraph and make sure zero and eight and it is single. Okay, so that's matching. Let's go to body. What is over here? Right click, modify. As you can see, uh, it's supposed to be serif. This is not serif. Okay, this is the first point body is supposed to be serif so I'm going to change it into serif I can choose the Times New Roman then it's supposed to be 14 it is 14 it's supposed to be justified to make the font justified go to format font and um, sorry not font just go to format and paragraph and from alignment it is said not said to be justified so we need to change also this one over here you can see it's supposed to be justified so that's the second point we change it where in body okay click on ok after that no enhancement means not bold not italic not underlined so fine this is supposed to be single and 0 and 14 single 0 but this is not 14 so we have to make it 14 let me check it is applied okay it is applied so okay so I change also this to 14 let me highlight it so so far we found two that they are not applied correctly we still have two remaining one of them must be also wrong so let's check the table so we have serif times new Roman is serif correct 14 it's supposed to be left alignment and then no enhancement added great and then single and zero zero let's check this one single zero zero over here so that's okay and then uh, nothing here to be changed so that's a correct one then it must be a list one so let's go to the list and let's check what we need to adjust so it is list make sure you open the correct one so it is serif, correct, times new Roman is serif, I have 12 font size, it is left size, and there is supposed to be a tick, which is this right tick, that's supposed to be indented 1 centimeter from the left margin. So let's go and check it from format, then click on numbering, you will notice that it's supposed to be selected on this. But so far it seems not selected over this one it seems just selected over I'm not sure on what selected so we have to select over this one if you cannot find the tick so just go to define new bullet and click on symbol and try to find it out from here okay so select this one click on ok so as you can see here even the picture changed uh, what we need to make we need to make it one centimeter from the left so again click on format paragraph and over here the word is indentation one centimeter from the left so pay attention to these words indentation is over here before text and after text can be showing on your computer differently or it might show the same as it is written on my computer before some of you might be written left and after might be written right 
so it will be quite clear for you that you need to change this one centimeter over here so one centimeter because it's supposed to be from the left margin indentation okay so I added even if it is written before means it is correct if it is written uh, left means it is also correct and then click on OK okay so it got adjusted over here and let's make sure of this last two things a paragraph again single zero zero so again what we needed to change here we needed to change this part means list also was wasn't correctly applied so we found those three okay click on OK so right now what we need to do we need to take the evidence of those three definitions to do this so far so subtitle let's start with it right click again on it and take this is the definition for it just take a picture or a screenshot for it and this is in evidence number two so go to evidence number two a new line and add it over here right now we need to add it to the next one which is body so go to the body right now right click and over here take a screen capture for the next one what we change here we change the font style to be times new roman which is a serif one Okay, the next one it's supposed to be list so go to list right click modify and take a screen capture for it okay in here what we need to add is the we need to change the tick as you can see the tick over here is showing and all its criteria and things are showing over here okay let's go and add the third one the last one okay they are all added if you want to make it fit all into one place it is possible it will take a lot of space if you make it uh, bigger and definitely if it is too small it won't be visible on the printer this is fine let's go so evidence number three is going to be here let me just make it ready okay let's go to the next part of the question question number four change the page layout so that all text following the subtitle report for home customers is displayed in to two columns of equal width of one centimeter space between the columns okay let me read the question a little bit more clearly page layout so that all the text following the subtitle means the subtitle is not part of the column let me go over here and from starting only the following text Till the end supposed to be only displayed in two columns so this is the last part again go to columns two and here we go we got it all displayed into two places except this one okay then after that we need to adjust that the width uh, equal width it's supposed to be both equally divided of course they will be equally divided but we need to set up that the space between these two columns is supposed to be one centimeter to do so you can just go to columns more columns and you can set the spacing between them let me highlight here and then go to columns just make sure your cursor in inside those column areas and then click on more columns and over here you can see the spacing just type one as long as your unit is centimeter and you can see it got adjusted to one centimeter import the image which is m2120 ac.jpg okay and place this at the start of the paragraph below the section heading let me check where is this section 
So let's go over here, click on Control F and paste that sentence and it's over here. What we need to do, we need to place this picture at the start of the paragraph. Okay. So we need to place it at the start of this paragraph below this section heading. So let me go here, insert. You will notice that, let me close this. You will notice I put my cursor over here, pictures, and then go to that, your working area file, a folder, and then select here's the picture and insert it resize the image so that it is the half width of the colon and the aspect ratio is maintained and takes wraps so let's first of all find the width of the column and it will be the picture size also will be the half width its width will be only half of the column width you just can place it anywhere in the column go back to your layout and go to more columns and you can see that the width of the column is 7.46 that means 3.73 uh, half of the width of the um, column so as you can see over here let's click over the picture over here and go to format and in the width section and as you can see in the width section we need to adjust this to be 3.73 centimeter okay so it reduced then the following part supposed to be it supposed to maintain the aspect ratio you will notice that it automatically also reduced the height and then we need to the text wraps around the image and we need to align the image so that the left and the top of the margin are touching the corners of the image that means first I need to adjust this to be square so it is wrapping as you can see the text is wrapping around and I need to adjust this image as you can see the green line is coming to the top and left margin that means it is position positioned correctly okay so let's go to the next part of the question 7 locate the table and format it to look like this so let me find the table where it is over here I have a table So let me highlight it and let me make it to look like this one. So first of all as we can see there are grid lines or borders internal and external. They are all visible. The first point to do it is just to go over here in the home tab and select all borders. Then if you need to make the borders thicker as it is showing over here over here right click on it and click on table properties you will find over here borders and shading what you can do you can go over in the width section and choose a little bit thicker one and click on ok I think that's quite matching with that after that let's have a look starting from the first row the first row only divided into two columns so seems the first one for the first column here and the second will be merged between all those numbers so go to layout or just right click and say merge the cells next point you can see the second row I have here first two columns okay and then the second column here is empty and two empty columns here three and then four three and four okay what I need to do right now let me make sure right now from up to down so one is just its line till the first row so the second two as you can see two it's going till central heating and then 3 till home electrics plumping will be till 4 and drains till 5 okay nothing to change here only one thing we need to change the direction of this 1 2 3 4 5 so let's highlight this
So, so far so good. Let's make sure right now of these points. The table fits within the column width. So let's go back again to our table and make sure that it is fitting within. Over here you can see if it is, you're not make sure you can right click auto fit to window. Okay, that will make sure of it. You can also say auto fit to the contents. Okay, it's adjusting it right now. And then uh, for the, okay, leave the last one. So this is far, fine. Let's go to the next part. And no word split on the text wrap. As you can see here, there is a wrapping of the text, but there is no splitting words like N is complete, controls, all of the words are completely visible over here. And grid lines are visible when printed. Definitely here we have the grid lines are showing. If you went to print and try to print it, you will see the grid lines are visible. Let's go to the next point. Produce a vertical bar chart. So we need a vertical bar chart using this file, which is which is a CSV file, to compare the number of gas, electric, and aircon engineers for the north and east regions only. Okay, to make sure of that point or what they mean, so let's go and open the file. Over here we have this, uh, is it the same file? Yes. So let me open it over here, let me expand it, and let's check. So I have the regions over here, the four directions, and then I have gas, electric, and air cone, and each have a number for each region. So what they want me to do is to compare the number of gas, electric, and air cone engineers, okay, so those are numbers of engineers in each area for the north and east regions only. So I need the north region and I need the east region to be compared in a bar chart. So north and east region. So what I can do, I have to highlight these two lines because I need them, including the, the headers, and I need the east. So I'm going to hold keyboard on my uh, I'm going to hold control over my keyboard and select that line. After that I'm going to go to insert, click on recommended charts and they're going to recommend me already a vertical bar chart. If you're still not recommended that vertical bar chart or whatever they're mentioning to you, then you just can go to all charts and choose your bar chart or whatever chart it is from here. For currently I'm just going to choose this because it is the vertical one. Let me make it smaller. And then after that, let's go and read the rest of the question. Format the chart to include the title, which is regional coverage. So change the title, double click on it, and type it, or for me right now, I'm going just to copy and paste it. After that, uh, the value axis title, it's supposed to be number of engineers. Let me tell you, this is supposed to be, one supposed to be the value axis and one supposed to be the category axis, according to your chart. Right now, this looks like a category axis because it is categorized into three sections. And this looks like more like a value axis because it has some random numbers. Okay, so right now they want me to adjust this value axis to be having a title which is called number of engineers. So over here in the chart you will get a plus sign. Click on it and you will have access state title. If you click on both of them if you activate it you will see that both uh, titles are added. For right now I don't need it for both. Currently I need it only for this vertical one. So add the vertical one and add its name because it belongs to the value axis. Okay. Then the category axis labels to identify gas, aircon, uh, electric and aircon. So they need, okay, here it is already identified, which is category axis labels. Over here, there are already three identified for each chart, its label. 
Then category X is title, it's supposed to be okay right now. We already add for the value X is title, we need it for the category X is title. So go back again to the over here, click the arrow and add the primary horizontal and change the title over here. Uh, the value data labels above each bar, so we need data labels above each bar. So over here, go to data labels and you will find uh, it is showing over here. If it is not okay for you, you can choose from where you want it to be showing. Right now it's supposed to be outside end. Okay, so it is showing up there. A legend to identify the regions. We already have the lesion down here to identify the regions. Okay, so after that, place this chart after the paragraph that ends with how we cover the regions. So let me go and look for it. Okay, it's over here. So let's go and copy this chart. One thing I've noticed that this data label is not showing. I don't know what's wrong going, but we can just um, remove the check from here and add it again and it will appear back again so just make sure everything is perfect and everything is uh, matching with the question paper and right now right click copy and go to this place and paste it over here you will notice that it's not fully visible you can just expand it a little bit it will be working and visible correctly uh, let's go and make sure that the chart fits within the column width and all the data labels are fully visible as you can see it is matching with the width not exceeding and also not shrink to inside all the data are visible and okay number nine spell check and proofread the document and make sure that the paper size okay first let's spell check and proofread the document so let's go to review let me close this part and press over spelling and grammar Okay, let me just place it here. Spelling and grammar. So, okay, let's go over here. First of all, cheeks. There is no cheek. There is servicing and safety checks. So that's safety check. So change it. Checks. This is supposed to be we can also inspect and service all electrical. So change the second one. And that's all. If there is no other mistakes okay let's go to the next part make sure that the paper size page orientation margins have not been changed so let's go to layout again on the small arrow so it's a4 2.54 uh, and it is portrait as they mentioned in the beginning to be portrait yes so it hasn't been changed and there are no widows or orphans so let me go and check we have no widows or orphans over here okay just make sure all of your titles following with their contents there is nothing split so the table and list are not split over the two columns or, or pages let's go and have a look at the columns over here we have a list over here that has been split it into two pages column is this table looks fine and the list also looking fine so we have to adjust this list not to make it uh, split it what we can do we can make it into a new line over here okay what happened this image is supposed not to be belong over here actually it's supposed to be over here so let's take it back again okay let me just take it one more line to down and I will adjust that later. I will take right now the picture where it's supposed to be over here. Okay. And let me take this back again. Okay, great. Loud. Right now I have the complete list. Uh, this got separated. So I can just take it back again. Right now, correct. It is just make sure it is. Okay, right now the two lines are appearing. And it is in its right position if you're not make sure of the position go back and read the question and make sure it is in the right position so far it is good okay over here I got this table got this list got separated into two 
okay this is also separated one can take it into a new line and then I take this whole thing into another page okay great you will notice there is a lot of space here okay right now it is better matching and let's check everything again there is no orphan or widows and let's check the spacing between all items is consistent okay and then save the document using the same file name and format used in step one which is safety so it is already saved with safety so just just click on save and that's going to be your printout document so that's going to be your printout number one make sure that your name and all informations are visible and click over printout you're going to get four pages that was the last part of uh, document production i hope you got all the questions and answers and see you in the next task